All right, guys, I am in the car. And I'm sorry if you guys cannot hear me, but I have my heat on. It is 64 degrees outside. And let's buckle up for some safety. Make sure I got everything before I leave the house. It is 10:34. I'm so excited, you guys! Like I just can't stay at home right now. I'm I'm like ready to hit the highway. So I'm gonna use my mug that I got from work, and I just have some water in here. But I did not finish my um breakfast essential. So that's that. But my mask is in the car. I have my KN95 mask. And I'm going to be pairing this with my goggles. So to do that, I'm going to put on my mask. That's what I forgot to get. I think I'll be fine because I think I'm supposed to be wearing like a reusable mask when I get to clinicals but I'm gonna put it on just like so okay this is how we're going to be able to do our clinicals but myself I think I'm going to be wearing a reusable mask because the mask that I normally wear they are out of so I was fitted for a reusable mask with the filters on the side. I have my stethoscope case. I have my stethoscope. I have my Dana Oaks book. I have my, I have myself. <laughs> and I have my goggles. I have my pen. And I have my badge. That's what I was needing, my badge. Let me make sure I got that too. Okay, I have my badge and got my uniform. I got my notepad just in case. Yes, I think we're ready. Now I just left my house, so I have to meet one of my classmates because we will be carpooling to try and save on gas and things like that. So I've already reached out to her and she is awake and we are almost ready because we have to arrive, like I said, 30 to 45 minutes early because we're going to be using the employee entrance and we have to get screened for like our um, temperature to make sure that we're going to be able to enter into the building for our clinical rotation today. So I've already ate breakfast, all of that stuff. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed my first day of clinicals. Get ready with me. And I'm going to head over my journey. Because I'm so excited I can't stay home no longer. Like, I'm just super excited. Like, a kid at the candy store. Like, I'm super excited. But, like I said, we have a test tomorrow when we get back to class. On basic math which was one of our PowerPoints that we have done. And I think we have another test. I think it's Monday. Yeah, I think it's Monday on patient assessment. So we've been covering a lot of material, regardless of the fact whether or not we were or were not on campus, but we were using Zoom while we were on quarantine, but we have successfully returned back to campus and we were able to complete our um, incentive spirometry checkoffs, our hand washing checkoffs, our vital signs checkoffs. Like we have been knocking it down in class. So, um, hey, we have been covering a lot of material here lately and I've been grasping the material a lot more. So I think that's, that's, that's great. I need to get down here because I'm super excited and I don't know what else to do right now because like me sitting at home and my nerves all 
like they are. Like I'm just, just ready. It's just those first day jitters. Like you don't know what to expect. You don't know what's gonna happen. Like you don't know what patients you're gonna see. Anything like that. So I hope that my classmates that went to um, clinicals this morning, their clinical started at 645. And I hope that they had a awesome first day during clinicals because I'm on the evening rotation. Me and a couple other um, of my classmates, we are on the evening rotation for the evening shift. So hopefully we will get to see a lot of interesting things today. And I'm like I said, I'm super excited. Like, I'm super excited. I don't know what else to do. I'm just so excited. Like, I had to just leave the house. Like, I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> like, I'm ready for today. And then I'm gonna, like I said, I brought my flashcards as well, so I'll be able to study. Did I bring those? No. No, I gotta go back home. I left my flashcards. Or did I? No, I didn't. Ha, ha, ha. I have them. Yes. Yes. So, I'm going to be studying those. And, um, I hopefully should be doing another video. I'm sorry, you guys, that I have not been posting like I was. But, respiratory therapy school, you guys, is serious business. <laughs> like, all I do is study and go to work. Like, that's, that's basically what all I be doing and I be making my flashcards and things like that just so I'll be able to study and I have like a lot of flashcards you guys so that is how I study for respiratory therapy school I use a lot of flashcards and I use the colored ones just just for like how do I want to explain it? Like, like charts and diagrams and stuff like that. Say so like, let me see if I can find one. See so like, minute ventilation, tidal volume times respiratory rate. I hope you guys can see that. Like stuff like that. I'm trying to find the other one. You guys, please do not do this while y'all driving. Please don't do that. Don't do what I'm doing. Please don't do that. And this is another formula that our professor provided for us. Minute ventilation times the tidal volume times the respiratory rate, just so we don't get confused. So that's what I use colored flashcards for. Or either like definitions, terms, and things like that or some charts and that's not in this set of uh, flashcards it was in the previous one that for the test that we just took but like I stated earlier I I don't make straight A's but I'm passing I think I've made uh, I think my highest grade was an 80 I don't know but I will be doing a um, video on my grades no, it was, I think it was 80. I can't remember. But I will be um, doing a video for my grades thus far. And I think this is like the sixth week of class. Yeah, sixth week of class. And we have been doing amazing. Like, classroom time, lab time is awesome. Like, my professor, she is the bomb.com. As well as my classmates, like we we do Zoom sessions just because we're not able to actually gather at this time due to the pandemic. So we do Zoom sessions and we go over all of the PowerPoints and stuff that we've covered and we study together. So I really, really like that about my program as well as my classmates because we all have one ultimate goal is to graduate pass and become a registered respiratory therapist so i'm all for promoting 
studying as well as being successful so I'm really really excited about that but like I said we we go over PowerPoint by PowerPoint slide by slide and we ask everybody and make sure that everybody is still on the wagon and nobody fell off the wagon if that makes sense we like I said we go over PowerPoint by PowerPoint slide by slide for everything that we have covered and we make sure that everybody understands the material like nobody is going to fall off this wagon and I love that and I can't stress that enough like a lot of programs that I know about or some people just can't study in a group setting too so I do understand that everybody does have different learning techniques and abilities some can study with others and then some cannot me myself I learn best from others or teaching others so if you actually understand the material you'll be able to teach it to somebody else so that's how you know you know your information if it, yeah that makes sense Thank you. um I love that I can't Lord have mercy my, my classmates are are where it's at I'm, I'm just telling you like we we are on the money and I'm so excited that we're able to actually do clinicals because a lot of programs have not been able to do clinicals due to the pandemic, but where we are a hands-on um, career or program, we are going to do clinicals until we can't do them anymore because that's our hands-on experience. Like, I am unaware at this time if there is an actual simulation because I think some of the nursing programs do have a nursing simulation online but as to my knowledge I'm unaware right now as to whether or not a respiratory therapy program has an online simulation so just be mindful of that and like I said you guys I'm so I'm so excited make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications all of that and I appreciate every kind word, every prayer that everybody has lifted up for me when I was unable to pray for myself. Um, as far as my classmate, that person has returned back to class and we have did Zoom sessions to get caught up back with the material to have that classmate on board with us. And I will not disclose whether that person is a male or a female, so do not ask me because that is confidential. All right? Do not ask me what that person's name is because I'm not going to tell you. Sorry, not sorry. Anywho, is there anything else that I'm missing? If you guys have any questions regarding the program or if you just have any questions for me in general make sure that you leave me a comment and I will try and get to them as soon as I can because we got tests every week coming up so I will be studying and I do put my phone on do not disturb because it's study time and study time and I'm gonna get my study time in and I do work two jobs well actually I do have three I actually have four but I had to quit one because school had started and it was like Monday through Thursday and then my school schedule changed so I had to quit that job because my job told me to actually um, sit out for a week or take a week off basically to see exactly how my classes and things were like that were going to run and I was not able to go back so she was she told me get your education your education is more important than this job is basically what you told me and I was like oh, I really like this job but anyway whatever if you are watching this video thank you so much and I love that job and I hope that me leaving she was like don't worry about this job we'll get somebody else don't worry about it I was like okay but I don't want to quit but yeah anyway but she was very 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 pro keto for me getting my education like she was like this don't come around one, two three times in a lifetime so you need to get it together honey and go to school that's basically how she talked to me so I was like okay but I 
I really didn't want to quit, you guys. Like, I was a medical temperature screener at a facility, and I loved it. And I had to be at work at 4.30 in the morning, and I got off at 8.30 in the morning, so it was just only four hours, and I just checked people's temperature. And depending on their temperature, I was able to allow them to work, or I was sending them home. So if your temperature was above X amount, you was going home. And they didn't play with me neither. And they already knew what time it was. However, I have my job that I've been had for the duration of since like 2015. I still do that one as well as I am a certified nursing assistant as well. So I still do all of those things as well as go to school part time as well because I have completed all of my prerequisite courses so the only thing I'm taking right now is my respiratory therapy classes so like I stated if you guys have any questions about anything I'm always here you can feel free to email me with your questions I am always here to help and a few of my subscribers have already reached out to me via email and I answer their questions and yeah don't be afraid to ask me a question. If I can't answer your question, I'm pretty sure that I can get you an answer. It may not be that day. It just depends on when I see the actual comment, actually. Because I do be on the go all the time. That's why I make the flashcards, because I'm not always able to take my book bag or my notebook with me wherever I go. So... If I'm in the line at the grocery store, I'm flipping through these cars. If I'm, like, on the way home from school, like, I record myself. I record myself for the actual PowerPoint. So, I'll go through and read the PowerPoint and record the PowerPoint of me reading it. And then I'll play it back while I'm in the car since I have a commute to school. So, I do it that way also so that is another tip for somebody else that um is having a little difficulty or whatever so yeah if you have a little commute like I do I always record my powerpoints read them I listen to classical music all that stuff just to make sure I get up in there because this 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 right here is, is getting real now so I hope that you guys enjoyed my get ready with me for my first day. I'm about to, well, I'm actually already on the highway, but I cannot wait until I get there. And I will probably do another video, but it will probably be tomorrow after class because I got to study. And this is going to be all math on this um, next test that we about to take. So I have to go home and do some more um math problems like that so I might just do a style gonna study with me for this math tonight so if y'all are interested make sure that y'all thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel okay I gotta have y'all ever had that little piece of meat on y'all's lip honey and it's irritating like that's what happened just now like I don't like that but anyway, I think I'm going to do a study with me and an actual overview of today for my clinicals. But I will not be able to disclose but so much information due to HIPAA and confidentiality. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video tonight. Hopefully, I can put this one up tonight by 9 and you'll get the next one hopefully by tomorrow yes hopefully by tomorrow so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and wish me luck for today during clinicals and i will see you guys later on thank you guys for watching